Hey there, Scrappers. This is Marcia Vaworel, your local Kiwi Lane creative partner. Today, I want to show something that I am so excited to share with you that I've been working on. And while it is not perfect and it was a little bit of trial and error in some areas, um, I think it will work great for me. So, as many of you know, I do cash stuff um, to help me stay on budget. And in the past, I actually have kind of just held like one or two really broad categories and just kind of put my money in there. And then this year for 2024, I decided I wanted to be super intentional and actually break down my binders um, in a lot of different areas so that I could definitely stay um, where I want it to be and make sure I was really on top of things. Not that the old system wasn't working, but I think this will work even better. Um, so I have two of my binders. These are not the actual binders um, that I'm going to keep long term, but I had to order more binders. I actually ordered this really pretty uh, red patent leather type looking color. Um, and so they are on their way. So for today's video, because I wanted to go ahead and share these with you, I'm just using two of my other binders. These are actually my everyday essential binders that you saw me um, kind of do a sneak peek a couple weeks ago. Um, so I'm using these just for the video, but these will actually be housed inside the red ones. Um, so what I did was one of the areas that I wanted to further break down was my Christmas binder. So in the past, I had one giant envelope that had all the Christmas money that I kind of saved throughout the year and I was just pulling from there. So gifts, decor, um, treats, the food for Christmas dinner, like all of those things were just in one it long envelope. And I was like, you know what? I really want to go a little more specific this year. So what I did was I actually created a little envelope for every single category I wanted. And just to kind of give you an idea, there are two binders full. Now I've made all pretty much all of them. Um, there's like one or two more I may add in later, but I wanted to kind of show you how these work and what I've done so far. So you'll see, I went through and I took Christmas scrapbooking paper and actually Christmas stamps, or just stamps, they were alphabet stamps, and I created one of these little envelopes for each one. You'll notice here, I use Kiwi Lane templates to help me cut out some of the embellishments on here. Um, and the paper, in case you're wondering, is actually from Echo Park. Um, and then the stamps I use are from the Creative Memory stamp set. It's just the basic alphabet set that I had. So each one of these little envelopes, and you'll see some of them I have a little bit of money in and some of them I don't already. So I have my little budget sheet and then whatever money, and they simply slide in. Now these, um, I made these myself. I did not buy these like on Etsy. So these are made out of 3ML, uh, 3 mil uh, page laminators, laminating sheets, there we go. Um, and I do have five and I do have three. And I decided for these, because this paper was already so thick because it's several layers here, I would stick with the three. Um, I do also have a Disney vacation album I created using a similar process. And with those, I use the three and the five. I use the three for the inside, what we call the inner part, and then five for the outside. Um, so of course this is decor, so just so you kind of see some of my categories I use for cash stuffing. A Black Friday folder, that way I can put money set aside just for Black Friday. And some of that may be things that let's say I want it here in the house. I'll give you an example. Let's say I wanted one of the new robot vacuum cleaners and that's not something we already have, but I wanted to save up for it and I know Black Friday it's gonna be on sale. So it's not necessarily a gift for someone else, but maybe something we need for the house or it may be that I get to the store and realize, oh, they have this great thing for this person and instead of pulling from the Black Friday, on Black Friday, I may pull from that person's folder, from their little envelope. So, but I have a separate Black Friday. I have a shop small. Every year I always try to support um, the creators on Etsy and on some of the other channels that I use. And so that's what that one is. I have one for treats. So think cookies and extra candy. Um, this may even be if I donate stuff to the school for my kids. It just depends on what's going on. So again, you'll see some of these I did straight uh, cuts, whereas others, I like I said, I use the Kiwi Lane templates. Um, and this is from the Thoughtful Mini Borders. If you're wondering, I actually ended up using 1A, 2A, 1B, 2B, 3A, and 3B throughout these two binders. Um, there was treats, then I have a separate one for dinner. I have one, of course, for my husband, 
one for each of my kids that of course live here in the home still. Okay, and that's all the first binder. And I would have more, but that's pretty much all that will fit by the time you add money in there. Um, through all of them, it'll get too thick. So then the second binder, and I may actually end up getting a third binder. Um, when the red ones arrive, I will kind of go through and double check. I may end up getting a third red one, so I'll have three and actually have um, gifts in uh, two of them and then the separate, like the decor, the food, that kind of thing in a separate one. Now keep in mind, um, I have seven kids total and then I also have a couple grad kids I have some nieces and some nephews and a sister and a brother you know that kind of thing so um, most of these are the ones that have the names on them are going to be family members okay um, and that's what they're for this is where the money for their gift will go now I'm not quite done I do have a handful of other people I need to add in here but this is where my starting point is right so again um, one of my adult kids and my grandson again you'll see I use the Kiwi Lane templates my oldest daughter, again, templates, and my other grandson, I did that one, but upside down. I have my father, um, and now granted, I know granddaddy is spelled wrong. I do know that, right? The problem is if I had put in the other D here, I think it would have been too long, and you wouldn't have been able to see the paper. So I was totally okay with misspelling it this way, but just for those of you um, that are like me and kind of wonder, yes, there should be another D here. Um, Nana, so my mom, um, and again, hers is one of those that I had the um, Kiwi Lane templates on. My brother, his little girl, Lucy. Um, so again, it just kind of keeps going. And like I said, it, it goes on and on and on, right? Um, so this entire binder is pretty much gift giving. Uh, those are all people folders, if that makes sense. And then, like I said, um, this one had the immediate in the household along with the main categories. But I may end up moving these because just the main core categories by themselves is this thick. And by the time you add money in there, um, it may be separate. Um, and I may actually go back and create another one for the tree by itself. Now, we currently have a Christmas tree. In fact, I think we have three of them. Um, but I think with this next move that we're taking, we're going to leave them behind um, and donate them to the local thrift store and buy a new tree when we get to where we're going. So if that's the case, I may have a separate category just for the tree itself. But this decor is mostly for like my Ray Dunn items, um, you know, a reef on the front door, like just different things that I use. But I was so excited to share these with you. I wanted you to be able to see them. I love how they turned out. Um, I will tell you, I had to do a couple of passes through the laminator to make sure everything stayed uh, sealed, um, but so far, so good. Um, one thing to note, in my other binders, um, and I'll just kind of give you an idea, I use uh, mostly these envelopes. The ones that I didn't make my own like this, which like I said, I have a couple albums like this, I use these. And these, of course, are the zippers. Um, and so with the zippers, you can't quite get as many in these folders as without the zippers, and they both hold the money the same, but this is just what I started with when I first started cash stuffing, so it worked well for me. But what I was gonna point out is that these are a little bit bigger, and so the budget sheet that you see in here fits in this one fine. You just kinda have to sort of maneuver it in, but it goes in there fine. With these, I discovered the length I made them after I had made them all is that this budget sheet is just a tad bit too long. So I had to cut off just a snippet, and I mean a snippet, that it's not even the whole bottom uh, like little line here, it's just the white piece that goes at the bottom. So like how this has white space at the top, well there's white space at the bottom of this. So just so you're aware, I did have to cut those to fit them down in there. Now, some people uh, don't use these inside like I do. Some folks choose to use the ones like this that have the holes at the bottom and they go in front of them. I just prefer to have them inside. So like for instance, this is my lunch treat. This is one of my other folders that I have and one of my other binders. Um, my goal is to have $12 each week to be able to take myself out for a lunch treat. Um, I try to bring my lunch to work now, which is very different for me. I've never really done that before, but it's a new thing. So in the process, each one of these little flowers, you'll see there's six, I save $2. At the end, I have $12 I can take myself out for lunch. So I have the money, of course, in here, but then I also have a little budget sheet as well. And so the budget sheet that's in here, again, is the full sheet. So you can see I was talking about the white space at the bottom is what I cut off to make these fit. Whereas this one will actually go inside the envelope, but you do have to um, maneuver it just a little bit. 
Now, not everybody keeps these budget sheets along with their money. Some people just use the little tracker, like on the front with the little hamster. Um, I prefer both, and that's just a personal preference. That way, let's say I go somewhere and I don't use all $12. Let's say I only use, I don't know, five of the dollars. I get something from the dollar menu and it ends up having money left over in here, I like to be able to account for taking in and out. So think like a, a register at the bank, a dollar uh, deposit and withdrawal slip. That's kind of how I use it, especially when it's stuff like grocery shopping, where yes, I try to get the bulk of my groceries all in one trip, and I may spend the whole like $500 at once every two weeks or so, um, other times I may spend like 300 the first trip and then I may have to go back later in the week and get like, you know, fresh fruit, uh, more milk, that kind of stuff. So sometimes there is additional purchasing. So I use it like as almost like a log to write down how much is there um, and how much I still have to spend when I get to the store. That way I still operate with the cash stuffing for groceries, but it helps keep me on track on, on top of everything, okay? So again, I hope this was helpful. Um, I may actually do a tutorial on how to create these. I haven't decided for certain. Um, there's quite a few already out there on the internet, that which is how I figured out how to make them. Um, the size of these, I ended up making the little part that has the scrapbooking paper on them. These are six by three. The back sheet, so like the green, or if it's one of the red ones, that is six by three. And then inside is uh, five and three fourths by two and three fourths, I think, to make it where there was a border. And then these, of course, whatever the stamp was, I just kind of cut it around it and inked it and everything. Um, this ink, just so you're aware, is Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. Um, and like I said, the paper is from Echo Park. Uh, I do not have the pack right in front of me, but if someone's interested, I can let you know. Um, but the great thing about these is they're reusable. You know, they last a while. They don't, like I said, have the zipper so I can get more of them in here. And I was really able to customize them. Um, and I really wanted to be able to do that. I thought it would be cute. And I tried to make them all different. Every single one of these is slightly different. This is another one that has the Kiwi Lane template. Um, so that no two are alike. They're all like I said, totally different. Some have a little more than others. Um, I love that one with Santa. Um, so it just depends. My son, his name is Constantine. I had to shorten it uh, to fit his name on here. But, you know, I love that by shortening it, I got Santa and Rudolph on the same little thing and a little bit of Merry Christmas. So, you know, I tried to make them a little different. Um, and the great thing is it just helps me put that person's specific money um, in that particular envelope. That way, if I'm out at the store and I pick up two gifts for that person, I can pull directly from their envelope instead of one big giant pool of money and then trying to remember, okay, how much is left for this person since I try to make it as even as I can. Okay, so again, um, I may again post a tutorial video on how I made these. Um, you know, it was, it, like I said, it's not hard, but it is several steps. Um, but once you start, you kind of get the hang of it. And I just think it's super fun because then, like I said, I'm able to customize these as much as I want. Whereas, like I said, some of these, you know, I have these where I've decorated them. Others I have where it's the tracker. Um, and these trackers I actually made myself, like Lunch Treat, Family Night, uh, New Kindle Books. Um, the New Kindle Books, yeah, I did make that. I was trying to think. I made that one. Um, I've got like Chinese takeout, like, you know, and I have not colored in all the trackers yet, even though there may be money in there in a budget sheet. And that's just because I'm trying to decide how many of these I want to laminate in that little folder be that way I can reuse them. Um, so that's kind of what we were doing and we were out of town, so I didn't have the laminator with me. So, um, again, I hope this was helpful. I hope you're, you know, as excited as I am to have cute little things like this. Um, I love cash stuffing. It works well, like I said, for me. And this is just another way to add that little flair to it to make it my own. So if you have any questions, uh, do feel free to message me. Definitely leave me a comment below if you are interested in a how-to video. I will definitely make one. Um, like I said, there are some really great ones out there on the internet that show you how, which is why I didn't make a video about that. But I definitely can. Okay. All right. See you all soon and happy new year and I hopefully we'll have some more creative projects for you coming up. Bye.